Welcome back to another video guys is Stormcat back with another tutorial and in this one It's not really a high requested video, but it's a question that I get a lot You know, can I have a cell phone? How do you make the cell phone? What is the cell phone? So I'm going to go into every single little detail about the cell phone how to craft it and how to get those items to craft it All right guys, so let's start off with the basics the cell phone is an informational item that displays fishing power weather moon phases, elevation, distance from the center of the world, time, nearest valuable environment item, player speed, current DPS, total kills, and last enemy attack, rare creatures nearby, and total number of enemies. It can also teleport the player home similar to a magic mirror. So as you can see, the cell phone is just a huge clump of all of the informational accessories. If you look down here, you can see that it shows you every single thing that you need to know about the world. You know, the time, the weather, the moon phase, the fishing power, uh, whatever ore or chests are nearby, and whatever enemies are nearby, how many enemies, stuff like that. So. This can be super helpful whenever you're farming, building, uh, looking for specific fish for the angler. So a lot of people love this item. Now, what we are going to do is go into this crafting tree and show you exactly everything you need to make this. So it is super hard to get. It's really hard to get every single item, but it is possible and the cell phone is highly worth it if you end up getting all the parts. We're going to start off with the most basic and go to the hardest ones to get. So here we go. With platinum bar or gold bar and a chain, you can craft a watch at a table and chair. That is the first step. Next, you can get the depth meter from bats, these salamander guys and these little crab guys. Um, it's craftable in this version right here, which is the old gen, so you used to be able to craft it, um, but on PS4 and PC you cannot craft it anymore. But I highly recommend just going into the cavern layer and farming a whole bunch of bats, you will end up getting the depth meter. Also we have the compass, which again is dropped by these salamander dudes and these little crab and slug guys but is also dropped by the black slime, the piranha, the little fuzzy guy from the snow biome, and these mimics here. Next guys, we have the radar. The radar is going to be dropped from crates that you can fish for and by chests that will just, they'll just be in the chest. Um, I get one pretty much every time I play, so it shouldn't be too hard to get that. Next is the tally counter, which is dropped by all of these different skeleton enemies that are in the dungeon. Once you defeat Skeletron, you will be able to farm for the tally counter. And this just tells you, you know, how many enemies you've defeated. Next guys, all of these are pretty iffy to get just because it is 100% random. But these next few items are going to be from the traveling merchant and the angler. We have the DPS meter, which shows you how much damage per second. The stopwatch, which shows how fast your player is moving. And then we have the life form analyzer. Now, these are all from the traveling merchant. And it is completely random what he will sell based on random odds. So you will just have to wait a while in order to get all of these items if you're not lucky. Uh, you might get repeats, you might not even get any of them at the beginning. But as long as you just keep waiting for the traveling merchant to cycle through and leave, you will get all three of these items. Next guys, the different things you can get from the angler are going to be given through quests. So if you do a whole bunch of fishing and you turn in the fish, uh, for the angler's quests, you will be able to get the fisherman's pocket guide, the weather radio, and the sextant. Um, and then all three of the different accessories from the angler are going to be used to craft the fish finder. Next, guys, another really hard one is the metal detector. These are dropped by nymphs, which have a really, really rare spawn rate, but it is a 50% drop, I believe, to get the metal detector so if you just farm for nymphs uh, as best as you can they are pretty hard to spawn but if you keep farming you will eventually get the metal detector and that is combined with the stopwatch and dps meter for the goblin tech now guys these other things here 
aren't anything special, they are just the combined uses of the items that you had before. Next we have the Radar, Tally Counter, and Lifeform Analyzer, which is crafting the REK-3000. The REK-3000, again, as I said before, just combines the Radar, Tally Counter, and Lifeform Analyzer. Next, you are going to have the Platinum Watch, Depth Meter, and Compass all combined for the GPS and all of these different accessories you are going to craft are going to require the Tinkerer's Workshop. There's a video on my channel on how to get the Tinkerer's Workshop through the Goblin NPC if you want to check that out, uh, but I'm pretty sure most of you already know what the Tinkerer's Workshop is. Next guys, you are going to need a Magic or Ice Mirror. The Magic Mirror just teleports you back to your spawn. You can find those in Golden Chests and you can find an Ice Mirror in the Ice Chests. So guys, once you have done all of this farming and gotten to all of these enemies and gotten all of their informational accessories, you will go to the Tinker's Workshop and do these three combinations here. And then you will also do this combination here for the GPS. You will then go to the Tinker's Workshop again, hit the GPS, REK, Goblin Tech, and Fish Fire Finder into the PDA. Now the PDA is fantastic by itself. You don't even really need the cell phone. The cell phone just adds the magic mirror. But the PDA is pretty much the bulk of all of this, except that you can use the cell phone to teleport. So the PDA is every single informational accessory out there so you will have to do a lot of farming for this but it's definitely going to be worth it once you do get it and then guys what you do is you take your magic mirror or ice mirror and pda back to the tinkers workshop to get your cell phone now to recap real quick guys you will need a watch a compass a depth meter a radar, a tally counter, a life form analyzer, a DPS meter, a stopwatch, a metal detector, a fisherman's pocket guide, a weather radio, and a sextant. In order <sighs> to craft the PDA. So that is pretty much it for the cell phone guide. I can actually do an in-depth video on how to get all of these things the best way how to farm the traveling merchant these skeletons these enemies here the nymph and the fishing quests um so let me know down in the comments if you want to see a actual video of me crafting the cell phone from scratch i can definitely do that for you but that is how you actually craft it and what the respective items do um, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little guide on, you know, the basics of the cell phone, what it does, and how to get it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Definitely check out one of my other videos on screen. On the right is one YouTube suggested you, and on the left is my most recent upload. Also consider hitting that middle subscribe button if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.